Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth, I'm a marine biologist and welcome back to my channel and here today we are at Mumbles! Oh, yes! Uh, as in, Marine Mumbles. I'm sure this place is named after the channel and me not naming it after it, right? <laughs> today we're going to have a little super awesome, just chill, look the sun is out in Wales and it's not raining, this is a near miracle. The tide is in so I can't go rock pulling so I'm going to sit and paint the wonderful mumbles and the pier and we'll see what else we get up to. I've been exploring the beach a lot so maybe I'll go and paint some of the beaches um, from pictures that I've been or memory from before. Um, let's have a lovely arty adventure. Look at this view. How, how could you not sit down and draw this on such a good day? Like how incredibly lucky am I? Oh, it's stunning. Not alone the fact that it's mumbles, oh, it's just absolute sheer perfection. And they had this lovely, just picnic bench waiting in the middle of the pier that was empty. Amazing. And of course, starting it off as an extra special thing with a new sketchbook. Oh, I love a new sketchbook. Moleskin is my sketchbook of choice always. I went through so many of these while I lived here. I spent so long painting on beaches and stuff during my undergraduate. It was such a comfort to me. Um, going and drawing in my sketchbook and kind of recording all these new adventures that you have for the first time when you start uni. All these wonderful new places I got to explore that I'd never explored before that I just got to take and just do all these these sketchbooks and doodles in so I'm I was super happy to get back um, and start a new moleskin here it felt like a, a an important moment and um, to be honest I don't really need an excuse to start a, a sketchbook who does? <laughs> I definitely don't need an excuse to buy one I've got so many. <laughs> This wasn't actually a watercolour sketchbook, even though I started to use watercolours. The Moleskin um, just sketch sketchbook, not the watercolour paper ones, actually hold up pretty well. It probably would have been a bit better on watercolour paper, but that's not what these are for. These are for having fun, these are for going out and capturing the moment outside. And drawing outside is so fun. First of all, because look at this, it, I'm surrounded by water. I am drawing this incredible landscape to the sound of the sea literally just 360 almost except for that bit of the pier surrounded by water it's even under my feet look i'm so excited that you can see the water underneath it sounded incredible and for anyone that's nervous about going to draw outside i had a couple of people come up to me and like ask what i was drawing and they said it was really nice and people generally are sometimes curious but really just like let go it doesn't matter my outside style as well especially when you're like tight for time is always a bit rough always a bit ready this was maybe be a bit more in detail than I, I would usually do as well so I was I mean I'm pretty chuffed with this I'm not saying that this is like a bad piece I'm not calling this rough and ready I'm just saying that like you're there to have fun and capture the moment like I don't really know how to paint clouds I don't really know how to paint the sea I am just chucking down all of the lovely bright colors and shapes of the clouds that I am seeing and it was just really fun I find that when you're like, you know that you've only got this moment to paint it, you've only got this tiny bit of time to paint what you want to paint, then this is the time that you just let go of all those art anxieties. I'm not sitting there thinking, oh no, what if this is not perfect? Because I know that this, you know, I'm only going to get this, this few hours to draw this or even, I don't know how long it took me. I, I was probably a bit longer. I probably, yeah, it's probably there for like an hour or so, which is like longer than I usually have because usually I'm fighting the tide when I'm painting because it will be coming back in. And, but I'm not there thinking, oh, maybe I could redo this. I'm not looking for perfection. And and I'm just enjoying where I am. And that's the joy of painting as well, is that I'm getting to like really look in detail at Mumble's head. I mean, sure, it is what I've named my channel after, but I probably never sat down and really like looked at the geology and the way that the lines form and, and all the different types of plants and the browns and the greens and I don't know what it is, but it's like brackeny kind of stuff. I, I'm marine biologist, meh to the plants. And, and seeing like that like yellow, like band of moss that kind of is right at the top of the shore and noticing that and and kind of capturing kind of, yeah just capturing the essence because I did also look at this at the end and you'll see that they're a bit they're a bit squidged they're not quite as like they don't exactly look like that they do in real life <laughs> always you, you always notice mistakes that you can't change like right at the end but that's fine it, again it doesn't matter <laughs> I had fun and like come on that lighthouse is like as wobbly as anything I can't draw straight lines so who cares <laughs> 
<laughs> it was also really windy, which is why the camera is not recording, is on top of it, because I was just fed up with the wind. Um, I should probably should have mentioned that earlier. And everyone, remember to put the date on. There's so much stuff in my old notebooks that I would be desperate to know the date and when I did it, but I'd never wrote it down. So there you go, 25th of September, 2023. I drew the lovely the squishy squashy mumbles head. <laughs> You'll see it now. You'll see it in a bit. See, this is what artists always do. They always think, see, look, squished. It's like, oh God, you have to fit it on the page. But look at that happy face. I'm super chuffed. I'm so happy. It was just the best few hours or however long it was. This is such a gorgeous view. And um, I just encourage anyone to go, go out to your favorite spot and give it a paint. Don't let any thoughts in your brain stop you. Just go out and have a fun time because why not?